Impeach Obama, boys and girls. Howdy, Mr. and Mrs. America, and all y'all ships at sea. This here is Bobby Lee Cruz, and I'm here to introduce my brother Jeb, and he's going to be talking about the greatest living American journalist we got on the show tonight, Mr. Bill O'Reilly. And Bill O'Reilly is going to tell you all something wonderful for you all to hear. And you all liberals need to listen up, like Jeb always says. So now, my brother, from his bunker, Jeb Stewart Cruz. Good evening, my fellow, fellow Americans. Americans. But recently, a pablum puking lizard licking tree hugging liberal named Mr. Bill Maher called America a dumb country. Now, he an Obama supporter, so we understand where he coming from. Mr. Bill O'Reilly stepped forward to defend America. And we got his defense on the show tonight. We so proud of him. Ladies and gentlemen, the greatest living American journalist, Bill O'Reilly. I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Why is the far left saying America is a dumb country? That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Leave it to Bill Maher, perhaps the most blunt left-wing guy in the United States, to say what many far left people really think while talking about Sarah Palin. Do you think she has a future nationally as a presidential candidate? I don't know about a presidential candidate, but I would never put anything past this stupid country. So uh, people are already complaining that you're calling the United States a stupid country and gi giving you a chance to clarify. I don't need to clarify. It is. But why do uber liberals believe the USA is a dumb country? Governor Palin obviously a fuse on this. The left despises her. But the truth is the governor did a pretty good job on Alaska. Her approval rating when she left office was 54% despite spending a lot of time outside the state. Mrs. Palin's portrayed by the left as dumb, but how does that square with her solid performance in office? No, she didn't study at an Ivy League college, graduating from the University of Idaho, but again, she did the job she was elected to do. So let's compare her to a darling of the left, Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick, Barack Obama's good friend. Governor Patrick has a law degree from Harvard, so obviously he's a smart guy, but his approval rating now stands at an embarrassing 36%, and the state's in chaos. So Palin's dumb, but Alaska's running fine, and Patrick is smart, but Massachusetts is failing. Don't you hate it when the facts get in the way of the stupid theory? 87% of American adults ages 25 to 64 have graduated from high school or college, compared to 85% in Britain, 67% in France. Obviously, we the people are fairly well educated. The far-left ignorance meter, I think, is simply driven by ideology. If you disagree with their policies, you're a moron. Now, some on the right do that as well. I enjoy debating Bill Maher. Sometimes he pontificates without knowing the facts, like when he said Iraq should be divided. The partition is the most logical plan, the thing that could possibly get us out of there. Okay, Obviously, but then in order to uh, and have the partition work, you'd have to keep U.S. troops there for probably three, four more years to supervise that kind of a partitioning of the nation. I don't know those kind of details. I, I don't think uh, that would probably sail in this country since two-thirds of the country is already against us being there. I don't know those kind of details. Now, I never say Mr. Maher is dumb, even when he's light on details, as Sarah Palin sometimes was. Maher's witty, often misinformed, sometimes simply wrong, but to question his intelligence would be unfair. Just as he was unfair to call America a dumb country. As President Obama might put it, he acted stupidly. That is a memo.
Now that just made me so proud to be a conservative and American. I ain't been so proud since Peter King let that prevert Michael Jackson have it right between the eyes. Now y'all, I want to tell you something. Y'all liberals need to listen up because you need an education. Our next president is going to be Miss Ann Coulter. We support her, we love her, and we are praying for her. And I want to ask y'all to join me in a prayer for Ann Coulter to make her run for president. Please join me now. Lord Jesus, we believe that you sent Ann Coulter to be the savior of the American people. And we believe that she will run for president in the year 2012 and save us from Obama and shorten the days of the Obama nation. Lord, we claim it in your holy name. Amen and amen. Oorah! And make waterboard in the 2012 Olympic sport. And y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> Lower, lower, hallelujah, oh yes Jesus, lower, lower, hallelujah, oh yes lower, 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 hallelujah, Hallelujah. His truth is just keep marching and just keep marching on. Yes, Lord. The truth. Keep marching on. Yes, <laughs> 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 <